In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a vehicle that has unstable idle, stalls, lack of power, hesitation. You may or may not see a PO101 also. We'll be cleaning the mass airflow sensor. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver and some electronics cleaner. Um, there is mass airflow sensor cleaner, but it's the same exact thing. Let's get started. Start by pulling the connector off the mass airflow sensor. Um, it's got a tab right here. So just kind of pull down here, and if it doesn't come up all the way, just get like a little screwdriver or something. And what you want to do is you want to pull on the connector. Don't pull on the wires, because you'll screw that up. Just, this will come off real easy. Push it that way. Well, so much for real easy. Next up, we're gonna take the screws. There's two screws, one on each side. It's a Phillips. They're a little bit <clears throat> tight. They'll come out. Biggest thing here is don't lose them. Don't let them drop. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna just set it down here. Get the other one, it's a little bit of an angle. <clears throat> okay. And once again, once it's out, reach your hand in there. And you just don't want to lose it. All right, I got them both off. From there, I can easily just pick this out here. Doesn't look like it actually is going to come out, which is a bummer. So we're going to go ahead and just pull our air cleaner off. So here's our mass airflow sensor. And if you look real closely inside, there's actually some wires in there, then that's what we'll be cleaning. So it's a pretty simple ordeal here. You just take some electronics cleaner, they have mass airflow cleaner also, but it's exactly the same stuff. Go ahead and just kind of clean it. Um, this stuff won't hurt the mass airflow sensor. So don't be afraid to use a lot of it. Don't use the whole can, but just use enough to get it clean. Now when you put this back in, just be aware, there's a gasket right here. I mean, it could have stayed in here. So just make sure right here is cleaned up. We'll go ahead and put it back there. Take your screws. Once again, don't drop them because you'll never find them. Start it by hand. Another screw here. Another screwdriver. Now it's just plastic, so you don't have to over tighten them. Okay, and once that's in, make sure you get the air cleaner back in correctly. Probably a good time to change your filter also. And we're done. One more thing. This just doesn't apply to Honda Civics. This applies to every car out there. If you learned something in today's video, 
give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Thanks for watching.